And good morning. Thanks for joining us at 8 a.m. I'm Lindsay Adams. And I'm Leah Steinberg. A lot to get to this morning. Thanks for joining us. I know. That's right. We're closing out March, Leah, and we're going out with a bang, I think. I think we are. It's going to from overnight. Passengers on an Amtrak train have safely arrived in Bakersfield this morning after being delayed for nearly three hours due to a collision with a semi-truck just outside of Turlock. And this is a photo taken at the scene showing the wrecked semi to the left and dozens of containers of potato chips that were scattered all across the roadway. Billy's restaurant on Rosedale Highway were startled when a pickup truck crashed into the parking lot last night, landing on a car. Police say it happened just before 10 last night, and 23 ABC's Chris Ornelas took these pictures of that crash. Witnesses say the truck was on Rosedale and crossed the center divider and then went airborne. And as you can see from these photos, the truck landed on top of another car, causing quite a mess. Luckily, police say no one was badly hurt in that crash. Covering America, while well, the celebration was short-lived for supporters of marriage equality in Michigan, an appeals court has temporarily reinstated the state's ban on gay marriage. But during the 24 hours the ban was lifted, hundreds of same-sex couples rushed to the state's county clerk's office to get hitched. The order to bring back the ban happened late yesterday. The decision restores the ban approved by Michigan voters in 2004. More than 300 marriage licenses were issued to gay couples yesterday before that ban was reinstated. New concerns this morning after a barge carrying millions of gallons of oil crashed into a ship in Texas. Officials say the oil leaking into Galveston Bay could threaten the local wildlife that's migrating into the area. Booms were brought in to try and contain the spill, which was reported around 12.30 p.m. yesterday. And officials don't know how much oil has leaked, and the cause of the collision is still under investigation. Coming up, terrifying tragedy. Learn what's troubling officials this morning as they investigate a plane crash in Colorado. And have you heard that song, Oil Dale Royals? Well, thousands of people have as that song has gone viral online. Now the artist behind the hit has taken it to the stage. What he has planned next when 23ABC News returns. It's time now to take a look at some of the fun events and the happenings going on today around Kern County. If you're looking for fresh and tasty seasonal fruits and veggies, check out the Hagen Oaks Farmer's Market today from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Vendors there have a selection of items including veggies, fruit, local honey, eggs, hummus, salsa, breads, and juices. That is all in the parking lot of the Kaiser Permanente on Ming Avenue. Edwards Cinemas invites movie lovers to enjoy the classic film The Shawshank Redemption starring Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. The film tells the story of two men serving time together who become friends and find solace during acts of kindness. And that showing starts at 2 p.m. and tickets are $7 for seniors and children and $7.50 for adults. Edwards Cinemas is located at 9000 Ming Avenue. In the mood for something spicy? Then check out the fourth annual Chili Verde Cook-Off today at Amistoy's from noon until 6 p.m. 18 teams will be competing for the title of the best Chili Verde in Bakersfield. Admission is $10 and Amistoy's is located at 2303 River Boulevard. It's Zorro Strikes Back at the Gaslight Melodrama Theater and Music Hall. Curtains go up at 2 p.m. Tickets are $23 for adults, $21 for seniors, and $12 for kids 12 and under. The Gaslight Melodrama Theater is located at 12748 Joe Monty Drive. If you have an event you'd like us to showcase during our What's Happening segment, just send us an email to events at KERO.com. Well, what can you expect outside if you do go to any of these events? Leah Steinberg's in front of some trees with <laughs> the answers. Good rebound you called for. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right, Leah, thanks so much for that. Well, food venues and flowers, tying the knot can be really costly. Many brides know that finding the perfect dress on a budget, not easy. So 23ABC's Leslie Marine is live from Central Bakersfield, where brides-to-be will be able to buy their budget dresses today. Good morning, Leslie. Don't worry, we'll put them on together. Good. Oh, I can't wait for that. Which one is your favorite? Can you show me? Th this one right here. Oh, okay. Look at it. Look how elegant and beautiful it is. And this one too. The vintage on this. Mm -hmm. If I could fit in it, I'd get it. It's a size oh. zero. <laughs> I'm sure you could, please. All right, well, Leslie, thank you so much for that gorgeous dress there. And coming up, we'll take another look at your weather with Leah Steinberg and dinner and a show. The special way one Popeyes employee takes her orders that have customers coming back for seconds. 
Stay tuned. 23 ABC News will be right back. Wednesday. How about that? I love it. I know. I was hoping you would sing out that seven day forecast. Woo! I don't know how she does it. I don't either. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next weekend.